This is the sixth and final recording on the subject of two-level factorial designs, also known as two to the k factorials. Again, before watching this video, you should have watched the previous five and read through the parts one and part two notes on two-level designs. In this video, we're going to talk about how to generate the designs in Jump. So we've talked quite a bit about analysis of these designs, but how do you create them in Jump? And I'm going to show two ways to do it. One using what's called the full factorial platform, and the second one using a really nice platform in Jump called custom design. So to generate a design in Jump, you go to the DOE menu, we click on it, and I'm going to go down to full factorial designs. This jump generates many types of designs, uh, quite a number of them beyond our scope of this course, but I'm going to full factorial. Full factorial means that you are going to fit uh, or put together a design that does all possible combinations of factors and levels. Okay. Notice you, when you come in, you get a response table and a factors table. And I'm going to change the response to, uh, just for illustration, to yield. And I want to maximize it. You do not have to set your response goal at this time. By default, it is maximized. Then I want to add, let's add three factors and they don't have to be continuous, but I'm going to make them all two levels. So one of them I, w I will call um, time, temp, and a third we'll just call pressure. And then those are your factors. And then notice by default, Jump gives you the uh, generic minus one plus one settings. In practice, you should fill in the actual uh, term. So let's say that the low value is two and the upper value is four hours. Okay. And for temperature, our let's see, we go from thirty degrees C to 60 degrees C. Now, you have to determine these settings in advance of creating the table, but this gives you an idea of how to set up the design. And then finally, for pressure, let's say uh, something generic, 10 to 20. I'm, again, I'm making these up as I go along in whatever units you're using to estimate pressure. Okay. Now, these are the factors, so Jump looks at them, sees that they're continuous with two levels, so it's actually going to give you a full factorial design um, in two levels. If you had more levels, it would fit whatever design matched uh, how you defined your factors. We click Continue. Replicates. By default, you have one replicate. So if you type anything into the replicate box, that gives you an additional replicate. So if I was to type 1 in the replicate box, it would give me a fully replicated 2 to the third or 16 runs. But I'm not going to replicate the factorial points. Instead, I'm going to add three center points. Okay. And at this point, I make the table. Okay, notice Jump has set up a, the randomized design. I'm going to close the original dialog window. Notice it gives you a model. And the model has been defined by Jump. I warn you because quite often uh, the way Jump is set up, they don't give you the three-way interaction. So the model that's specified gives you the two ways. And I really would like to see a three-way for this design. It's a full factorial design, so I can estimate it, so I would add the three-way term. 
Now I don't have any responses, so I can't measure it. But what if I changed my mind? I said, well, I'm going to change these settings. These aren't the settings I want. You're given a little script called the DOE dialog. If you run the script, okay, it takes you back to the original uh, full factorial dialog window, and then you can back up and change your mind. I'm not going to do it here. I just want to illustrate what the DOE dialog button is about. But remember, when you're filling in the factors, they can be continuous, they can be categorical, some combination of them. Jump will look at that design. It'll say you want to do a full factorial design. And by default, the model will typically contain all possible interactions up to two ways. If you wanted three ways, then you would have to add them. So that's full factorial, very simple, straightforward platform to use. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the table. Uh, I'm not going to use it for anything. A good part of the rest of the course, actually, um, we're going to use, not all of it, we're going to use something called custom design. This is a unique capability in Jump. This literally lets you create a custom design and in many ways, it's like one-stop shopping. It's a very intelligent, we're only going to scratch the surface of what custom design can do uh, for our example. So again, you come into custom design. We have our response table, and um, I'll put yield again. And just to do something different this time, I'll say four factors. And I'm going to make them all continuous. I don't have to, but I will. Okay. And I'm going to, again, I would typically come over and I would put in the real settings that I use in the experiment. Typically, don't use the generic minus one plus one. Put in your own settings, and you have to s determine what these settings are prior to creating the design table. So you've got some upfront work to do determining what the uh, low and high levels would be. Click Continue. Now notice things are now different. It doesn't assume it knows what the model is. You have to tell it. So to illustrate, I want to estimate all two-way interactions. So there are all the two-way interactions. And let's suppose I wanted to estimate a squared term in x1. Okay, it's a bit tricky, but you'd go up to the factor table, highlight x1, come down to the model table, highlight x1, and cross them. So jump now has a squared term. So when you create the design, the design will support all main effects, all two-way interactions, and a squared term in x1. Again, you're asked about replicates. Remember, replicate means additional full replicates. And I'm going to once again add three center points. So the three center points will be my replication. Okay. And then here's another option. Jump says, OK, how many runs do you want to do? What it's going to do, I've given it a model. Okay. It knows the design settings for the factors, it then goes out and searches for a model that will meet these criteria. I will not go into depth about this right now, but in the near future we'll talk about how this platform custom design generates what we call optimal designs, how it finds them. I'm going to specify a design with, a, with the minimum of 15 runs. Jump is saying that's the minimum you can have in order to estimate the full model. I'm going to create the design. So Jump is searching for a design that meets all of my specifications. Okay. And it's found a design. This will estimate the main effects all two ways and a squared term in x1. So at this point, I just make the table. And there's my design. And if I 
run the model dialog, notice it gives you the model that you specified. So custom design is an alternative way to generate designs. So in this video, we've shown you how to create designs, uh, full factorial designs, using the full factorial platform in the DOE menu or using custom design in the DOE menu. Uh, both of these are acceptable for generating full factorial designs.